Hi and welcome to Digital Camera School. Today's module, Understanding the Rule of Third. The basic principles behind the Rule of Third is to imagine breaking images down into th thirds, both horizontal and vertical, so that you have nine parts. Not only this, but it also gives you four lines that are also useful position and elements in your photo. Principle do your noughts and crosses, okay? And the reason for this is, there's been studies done that when we look at a photograph, we look at these four points automatically. We also look at them in a particular way. We look at the top left-hand corner first, bottom left-hand corner, top right, and bottom right. This is exactly how we look at it and it's roughly around these percentages how long we take to look at the photograph or image or poster. That's how we look at um, those. So how does it work? Well, we've taken a picture of the bride and groom. The first thing that we do not do is put the person or subject in the middle of your photograph. This, if you do this, you're going to end up with your holiday snap. You put the person on the line of your right hand side or your left hand side. And we also keep the horizon away from the middle. We could put it on the top part of the line or the bottom part of the line. And if we're using a person, we use the eyesight on those lines. So we see here, even though the bride and groom are pushed to the side, it still balances out the picture. So if we go back to when this originated from, from the old paintings, we have a picture here from John Constable, the Store Valley of the Church of, of Denham in 1814. So if we break it down, okay, he's got the horse and cart to the right hand side, he's got the rockery and the trees to the left hand side. Look where the horizon is. It's not in the middle. So we've balanced it out. And what he's also done is he's got a front, a middle, and a back. So the front is your horse and car, the middle of the trees, and the horizon is the background. Okay? So if you use that, you will balance out the picture. If we look at the boy, He's on to the right hand side, his eyesight's slightly up, but it's just a roughly about there. And if we look to the left hand side, there is nothing there. So if we look at this area here, to the left hand side, that is what we call negative space. It is negative space that we can use to our advantage. So if we look at the poor boys here, freezing but they're slightly balanced to the right hand side. We have negative space where this line is. The horizon is where it should be. And the bottom part is where it should be. So it's a well balanced down picture. But if I put the boys dead in the middle, it just becomes a holiday snap, an unbalanced picture. If we look at the church here now. The church is right at the bottom. Because of the strongness and of the, the the minimalist of of the sky, it I put it the, the church way down and I used the sky as its background because it's nice and strong. I better use the grass. I just don't think it would have worked. Okay, but what I did not do is put the church in the middle of the picture. Now, yes, I know. Brian and Brew dead in the middle. But rules are there to be broken, minimum to be bent. But you can only break them if you know what you're doing in the first place. You can only break the speed limit if you know if it's only going to, uh, if you go over 80, 80 miles an hour, it's breaking the speed limit. So if you have the skills to break the rules, then break them. This one here, superbly broken horizon dead in the middle okay and it works perfectly it's by the brilliant brilliant photographer Andreas as you can see 
it's the, it's the second most expensive photograph in the world but it works perfectly okay you probably all recognize this it's quite an old picture <laughs> if we look at Jesus Christ he's dead in the middle of the picture but if we drew a line his eyesight would be totally totally center but if we took away all the rest of it the rules would be totally broken but he's balanced it out okay by the four collection of three people and it's balanced out very nicely and what he's also done he's put a foreground in there so the foreground is the chair the middle is the table and the background are the people okay it, it in my eyes I think it works perfectly okay now hopefully you like what you, you saw try it out have a go if you want to learn more go to our uh, website the digital camera school .com. if you want in, any information you'll find it all on there if you want to email me with any questions please f feel free go to our contact section on our website and there's lots of more modules um, on there as well so hopefully you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and listening.